So a few days ago, Animal Crossing New Horizons turned two years old, which is kind of crazy to think about. Last November, the 2.0 update and DLC released, and I think we have all pretty much accepted that we aren't gonna be getting much more free content in the same volume as we were back in 2020 slash early 2021. However, Animal Crossing fans like myself can dream. So today I wanted to share with you guys a list of functional items and tools which I wish would come to New Horizons. Or if not, New Horizons then maybe the next Animal Crossing game but I know we won't be getting that for a while but I digress. Before we get into this list though if you're new to our little corner of the internet my name is Yasmin and we play and talk about Animal Crossing, The Sims and other life simulation games so if that sounds like your thing perhaps consider subscribing so you can stay up to date on what we get up to over here. Lastly I would love to know what functional items you would like to see in Animal Crossing New Horizons. This kind of pie in the sky only in your wildest dreams kind of discussion is so fun for me. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing that I would love to see come to Animal Crossing New Horizons is functional and customizable planter boxes. Now I know you might be thinking, Yasmin, we got planter boxes in the 2.0 update. I know, but when I first saw this item in the catalog, I was so excited because at that point, this had been on my list of things that I wanted for a really long time. However, once I placed it in game, I was really disappointed. It's not like the model itself is bad quality or anything, but to me there was just an issue with the scale of this item. I just wish it was bigger. I don't quite know how to describe it. It just seems kind of out of proportion. The base seems too big, but the flowers in it seem too short. I don't know, when I was trying to build this item, I was just kind of struggling to figure out how to use it. So what I would love is if we could craft different planter boxes kind of like the big planter that we see in the museum and I'm gonna pop up a little clip of that on the screen now so you guys can see kind of what I'm talking about but anyway I wish we could craft these kind of planter boxes and that they could come in different shapes like circles or rectangles and that these could also be customizable to fit the established aesthetics in the game you know to kind of match the in-game bricks and stones and woods that we've already got but the best part about this item in my mind is that we could also customize it with any flower shrub or tree in the game. How I think it would work is if we interacted with this item, a little menu would pop up where we could then drag in maybe up to three flowers, plants, shrubs, trees, whatever we've got. Then if you exit that menu, they would be arranged in a nice decorative way. Again, kind of like what we can see in the planters that we've got in the museum. I think this would be a great way to be able to break up areas because I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I feel like I really overuse the kind of nature plantables that we've got in the game. The next thing I would love to see come to Animal Crossing New Horizons kind of connects to the last point, and this is customizable aquariums and bug tanks. If someone knows what the name for a bug aquarium is, please tell me down below. I was trying to Google it, but I couldn't for the life of me figure out what this thing is called. So when you place down bugs, fish or sea creatures, they pop into the world in a little tank or a big tank for extra large fish. I think it would be super cool if in our player homes that we could craft and place aquariums and bug tanks into which we could then add a few different types of fish and sea creatures or bugs. Instead of having their fairly kind of static animation, which most critters have when they're in their individual tanks, they would instead follow animations more akin to how they move when they're in the museum. In my mind, like the plant boxes, these would be totally customizable. You'd be able to get tanks in different sizes, like one by two or one by three, and the size of the tank would determine how many different types of critter you could place in them. Maybe you could also have different color and aesthetic customization options where maybe even the water changes color. Now, I don't really like CJ and I feel quite neutral towards Flick. However, I do feel like both of these characters don't really do a lot in the game, especially once you've got enough bells to make it not worth bothering to save up all your critters to sell to them all in one go. However, maybe once you've sold a certain number of critters to them, they would award you with the recipe for the bug or fish tanks. I don't know, it's just little bits of progression and a reward like this, which I think would add so much more depth to this game. Okay, so the next item that I want to be brought to the game kind of got brought in with the 2.0 update but I think that they could be taken so much further. The third functional item I would love to see added to Animal Crossing New Horizons is clothing mannequins. 
Now again, an item called the quote unquote dress mannequin was added with the 2.0 update, but the clothing on the mannequin is just locked to a dress. I think it would be amazing if we instead had a mannequin item in game, which you could fully customize with any in game clothing or accessory. This is actually kind of already in the game. There are always two mannequins in the Abel sisters shop, which contain the styled looks. I just want these for myself. So similarly to how I suggested that it would be cool if you could get the Fisher bug tank DIY from Flick or CJ. I think it would be really fun if you could get a mannequin DIY from LaBelle after you've completed her fashion challenge a certain number of times. LaBelle is definitely an NPC who needs a lot more love. I'm not being funny, but for someone who is supposed to be a style guru, I don't think that the clothing she gives us is all that cute. So after the first few times I completed her challenge, I stopped talking to her. But by letting her give us this DIY, it would definitely encourage me to talk to her a lot more. And this is because I really want this item. And this is because I have a room in my player home, which is dedicated to all the cool clothing and furniture, which you can get from special events and holidays. Kind of like a mini subsection of the museum, but just in my own house. And I think that being able to have these mannequins, which I could put together full outfits of, you know, the seasonal clothing that we got would be so cool. I never played Animal Crossing New Leaf, but this was actually in that game. You'd be able to get one mannequin from completing certain daily tasks with Sable, Mabel, LaBelle, and Gracie. It's seeing little things like this, which desperately make me want to go back and play that game. So the next thing that I want to come to Animal Crossing New Horizons is kind of a small thing. Thing, but I wish that we could get functional signposts in the game. Now let me explain because I know that we already have the town message board, but it would be really fun if we could craft a specific item or even if the wooden shop sign item was repurposed to allow us to write individual messages on them. Again, kind of like how the town message board works, but just portable. Again, I know it's a super small thing, but it's another item which I think would let players add so much more customization to their islands. And I think it would be really cool for players, particularly who may maybe share an island with somebody else, and it could also be a very good laugh for online play. So we've got the final functional thing that I wish would be added to this game. And this is the one where the quote unquote tools part of the video title comes in because I wish that we had a functional platform tool in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Players have done an amazing job at creating custom design sets which look really realistic and like actual raised platforms, but they will of course never be perfect. It's nothing against the designers. It's just how Animal Crossing is. It also irks me to no end how you can't place paths or custom designs right underneath buildings, bridges, or inclines. So you always get that annoying little ring of grass around them. And it's for this reason that I think it would be amazing if we had a platform tool, which once placed, we could then build buildings on top of. This tool would work really similar to the terraforming or paving tools that we already have in the game, but maybe instead you'd hold like a hammer instead of like a shovel and you could select a stair tool within this so that you could then get up and down the platforms. Again, like the plant boxes, I think it would be really cool if the platforms came in a couple of different aesthetics to match the ones that we already have in the game. Again, so thinking like brick, stone, wood, stuff like that. In terms of how we would get this tool, I think it would be really cool if it was unlocked after we completed Project K and after we'd already got the terraforming tool. I think the tutorial slash story side of New Horizons is so short, so adding another goal to achieve to this would be massively appreciated. I think this is the kind of thing which builders would go absolutely crazy for because platforms would allow players to mess around with height even more and just allow us to make even crazier builds. So that's everything I've came up with. This is actually a list which I've been adding to for over a year for sure. So it feels really nice to finally be able to share it with you guys. For anyone who regularly watches my content, I just wanted to apologize for my shocking upload schedule this month. Sadly, deadline season has rolled around once again and YouTube has annoyingly been the thing which has suffered. But with that said, I'm very glad to be back and creating again now. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you have any thoughts, questions, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them down below. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you guys are having a good day and I'll see you again soon.